basis of today's question kind of follows on from the last guy talking about relationships, the freedom from suppression, the resonance in renewed findings of what future relationships mean to me, and then how to transition from past situations where relationships have had a basis of attainability, but then they've not necessarily been sustainable. Well, that's exactly what we were talking about at the beginning today. That's the story of Esther's lions and horses. There is, is so much that is easily obtainable through action. But if you haven't done the energy work first, then it is not sustainable. So just because you can do something doesn't mean that the timing is right to do it. That's the answer, and you felt it as we said it. In other words, you can feel that. No, my heart's already leaping out of my chest, you know. So. You know why this is so pertinent? We were in Chicago in 2009, and we were talking about this $100,000 and the exchange rate, and I sat in the chair and said, I could do that, because you said, you know, don't focus on the issue. And I said, I could do that. And the, la the room erupted in laughter, because what they didn't understand was that I actually spent seven months aligning to that commitment to say, I can do that. And this is a similar situation. I've spent the last few months working through this contrast to say, I can do that. So the future relationships, can we talk about resonance? Yes, that's exactly where we're going. Consider this important thing. Whether you want to admit it or not, you and almost everyone else, the action is what you really want. Esther's been saying to us, Abraham, I've been listening to you for years. I've been speaking for you for years. I get it that you like the idea of us flowing energy. And I like the idea of feeling good. And I like the idea of mind control. This is Esther speaking. And I like the idea of thinking thoughts that feel good to me. But Abraham, I like manifestations. I like manifestations. And what we said to Esther, what we want you all to hear is, of course you like manifestations. Just don't ask for the manifestation prematurely of the energy work. Because if you get the manifestation prematurely of the energy work, the manifestation won't be satisfying in a sustainable way. Of course, you can pick up a telephone and make almost anything happen that you want to. There are a lot of things that many of you could go do right now if you just wanted to do it. You can make things happen. But there's a big question. Am I making it happen or am I letting it happen? Am I going with the flow of the energy? Is the genesis of what I'm making happen? Is it coming from the source of who I am? Or am I making it happen and is it a diversion from the way the energy is flowing? Because anything, ooh, who here it is. Anything that is even the slightest diversion from the way the energy is flowing will not be sustainable. Ooh. We'll say it again. Anything that is the slightest diversion from the energy flow will not be sustainable. So that means only the next logical step, <laughs> only the next logical step will do. I can't write fast enough. Anything that is the slightest diversion from the way the energy flows is not sustainable. So if you're flowing energy toward things that you don't want and you're trying to take action about things that you do want, you can't buck your own current. Ooh. And if you have been really thinking about what you want, if you've spent a lifetime building this vortex and you have lifetimes, and if your inner being's all involved and all integrated in what you want, and if there is this powerful understanding of who you are and what makes you happy and you're sideways of it, nothing that you do is going to make it work. You've got to get current with the current. You've got to get in flow with the flow. You've got to be a vibrational match to your energy stream, which means you've got to familiarize yourself with it. So follow us just for a minute and then we want to hear you. We've written a lot of books. You're probably seeing them around. And in them, there are a lot of processes. And every one of the processes is to help you to become a flower with your own flow. In other words, these processes that we offer you are based upon this absolute knowing. You already told the universe what you want. You've already built it in the vortex. It's already a done deal. And it's already ripe and ready for your receiving of it. So what you want is already accomplished. But you've got to get ready for it. 
You've got to ready yourself for what you created. You've got to be vibrationally ready for what you've created. So the processes that we offer you are not to help you create it. You already did that. The processes that we offer you are to get you to be ready for what you've already created, to get you in sync with what you've created. The work is to get in the flow of the flow. The work is to find the stream that feels the best. It's like being on the river in your raft. You ever done that? It's so much fun. And sometimes the river is wide and so the current is slow and sometimes the river is more narrow and so the current is fast and sometimes there's a current over there that if you just paddle over there a little bit you'll get a little better ride because the currents are already underway and your singular work is to position yourself within the currents that you've already established but that requires some trust it requires trust that you knew what you were doing when you were born trust that your inner being knows trust that the sorting and sifting gave you honest requests about things trust that your inner being is aware of what you're asking for and most important trust that your inner being knows where you stand right here right now this red hot minute in relationship with what you want and when you come to really know all of that and so you're not trying to accomplish the manifestation for manifestation's sake, you just want to get in the flow for getting in the flow's sake, then the manifestations that result from being in the flow will not just be satisfying when they manifest. Oh, but they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> but they feel good while they are in the process of flowing, 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 unfolding, unfolding, unfolding. You cannot have a happy ending to an unhappy journey. It just doesn't happen. And you don't have any power over there in the manifestation yet. So you got no choice other than to be having a happy journey. You got to find some way to make yourself happy in the journey, even absent the manifestation. That's the secret to success. That's the secret to joy. You got to find a way to be happy in the absence of the manifestation because you're experiencing the presence of the flow that's going to create the manifestation, but the manifestation hasn't come yet, but it doesn't matter because you're in the flow and it was the flow that you wanted anyway. Really it was.